the city of Los Angeles was always trying to take over this little island, this little, like Manhattan in the middle of, uh, of uh, Los Angeles. And the pressure was tremendous. Uh, there were very good reasons for Los Angeles to take over this community. Uh, it was a, in the way. Uh, as recently as today, I was reminded uh, that the freeway was supposed to come through here. Route 2 was supposed to come along Santa Monica Boulevard, but Beverly Hills blocked it. And many people in the city thought it might not be a bad idea. But the motion picture colony, headed by Douglas Fairbanks and his very wonderful wife, Mary Pickford, organized a group of people with others, of course, in the community to keep the independence of the city. They wanted to keep their school system separate. They wanted to keep the police department and the fire department separate. And so they fought like heck. So the city of Los Angeles started to pull the strings. And they started to, well, I guess the, the rope was more like it, they put a noose around the neck of Beverly Hills and said, we're going to stop your water. So they did to Hollywood, too. And, they and in Hollywood, they got, they got they, it. They got it. Mm -hmm. But Beverly Hills, with some very far-sighted people, went out and, and took leases on water wells outside of the city limits in little town of Sherman, which is now West Hollywood. And they pumped this water into Beverly Hills, and then they had to by pipeline. They didn't have to worry so much about uh, eminent domain. Well, they didn't worry about eminent domain, but they didn't have to worry so much about uh, protection of the environment then. And uh, they just came right through, and they brought the two filtration plants. One was on Foothill Boulevard, or Foothill Road, near the Beverly Hills City Hall now. And the other was here. And water in those days was filtered through sand. There were holding tanks for putting in the chemicals that were necessary. Chlorination was the major reason the thing they did. Now they use much fancier things. And this city, time after time, voted bond issues to protect their own water supply. And one of the first bond issues was to build this building. Three or four hundred thousand dollars wasn't very much. In those days, the engineers weren't quite so precise with the computers, and so they, if they were going to err, they were going to err on the side of strength and especially with the building holding large amounts of water. They wanted to make it look like Beverly Hills, and they did it.